Hello everyone, welcome to the Boku Cast. My name bro sorry, my name Bokusatsu. Woo! Sorry. My name Bokusatsu and today we're here to talk about well Kamara Revice. The latest installment to the Kamara franchise. I say that because well it was. Here on the Broken Cast, we talk about anything Tokusatsu media or other superhero media like Marvel, DC, and other genres as well, not just Toku. So yeah, I think yeah. So today I'll be talking about Comrade Revice. But my pros and cons. Well, I'll just be honest. All right, I'll be honest. I don't like Revice. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Where, where did I begin? Okay, okay. I'll start with Iki. Iki, Iki, Iki Igarashi, the the oldest sibling between the main three Igarashi family kids. Sorry, I can't talk. I like Iki. Like in the first, like in the first co- half couple episode, the show was focusing really on him and his on on him, mostly him trying to fix his family because we know. Uh, because when uh when he was trying to save Daiji, when he tried to save Daiji, you can really feel that he he's really trying to bring back his family and uh yeah 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 it's true he did took all the glory he did took all the attention away from Daiji and put it on to him and uh we both know what happened there with Daiji so yeah. I like Iki. He, I like Iki. He reminds me a little bit. He reminds me a little bit of a Sento, but yeah, at the same time, and a little bit of Sinji from a Yuki. I don't even like Sinji, so this, so, so, so this coming from me, a Nami Yuki lover. <coughs> and it, it actually works for him. He, he, he's a mix of a little bit of Sinji, of Sinji from a Yuki, but also reminds me of Sento from Build, and uh. And I like that about him. I like that about Iki. He did. He did got a little bit boring in the second half. And not gonna lie, because it's just <clears throat> because it felt like that uh, they were reusing the same tools that they did for his character arc in the first half, which I didn't like. I'm sorry. I saw. I saw. I just didn't like her. God damn it. God damn it. All right. Here, guys. Say. <clears throat> In the second half, it felt like that the writers had no idea what the heck they want to do with Iki's character. It it only felt like that. Uh, it only felt like that. Uh, they were run. Not more ideas. No, it almost felt like that. Uh, they were having a hard time what to do for his writing for the second half because. Honestly, the second half isn't even focused on him that a lot, to be honest. It's mostly focused on the other character. Iki's just there most of the time with Vice. Like, I'm sorry, but it's pretty much true. I don't know what to say there, but yeah. So yeah, so yeah, so yeah, that's how I feel about Iki. Let's go on to Vice. Uh, all right, this one, this this one gonna be controversy. Yes, I know, I know, I know. His voice actor is a piece of crap. I know. So for this, I'm gonna s- I'm going to separate the the actor from the character. So let's talk about the character only. Vice. I really like Vice, but people are calling him a Reiwa version of Momotaro's, and I gotta say that he isn't like Momotaro's. I can see where I can see where people are coming from with that because it felt it feel like Toei it feel like Toei gonna make him into into a Momotaro. I say it feel like it, but he's not going to. I say it's gonna feel like it. But uh I can see <coughs> Sorry, sorry. Uh but uh, I can see where people come from saying that he's like a Momotaro like character. Yeah. Mostly the first half he mostly the first half he wasn't even that funny to be honest. I like Vice when I like Vice when he's more serious about protecting Iki's family. Just him, just him being goofy, goofy, isn't funny. I I didn't like that. 
I like it more serious than funny, I'm trying to say. And that's and that actually worked for his character. Because the whole relationship between Iki and Vice is basically if something ha if something bad something bad happened to Iki, then that means Vice is pretty much screwed. He's dead, donezo. And they even talk about that multiple times. I'm sorry, sorry about that. They even talk about that multiple times in the show. And yeah, it actually works for him. I like that. I like that about Iki and Vice. Their their relationship felt like okay, honestly, that the, the relationship felt like felt like the actual well brothers. They are they are a way better duo than Emu and Pardo, just saying. Because because Vice is Vice is like okay. Iki and Vice are like a reverse version are an opposite version of double. How how in double show that's what though how Philip so show are you are you ready to dance with the devil? Right or dance, he said one or two. And Philip's the devil of that of that partnership. <laughs> he uh, it's totally different. It's totally different. Iki made a contract with Vice. And it looked it looked like Vice it looked like Iki well it looked like Vice is the dancing devil in this relationship right here, I'm trying to say. If you see if you see if you see what I'm trying to make with these two comparisons, then you're welcome. So yeah, Vice, I like him. He has a really solid character arc. I don't like him I don't like him when he's funny, no. He's just there are a few times he's funny, just like that. You know, he overdid it. He already did that at times. He already did that at times. So yeah. So Vice, he's cool. I like him. I like Vice. So on to uh the second sibling of the Igashi family. Daiji. One of my favorite characters on the show. Oh, uh, what can I say about what can I say about Daiji? Well, I think Daiji had a good character arc for the whole entire show. From beginning to end. Because people said that uh, people were comparing him to Michi. But I wanna say this. I wanna say this. You guys, you guys. You cannot compare Daiji to a horny teenage boy who just wanted to F his best friend. Who F who wanted to F his best friend. Because she said no to him because because she was way interested in our main protagonist in game. Comparing comparing the horny simp that is Michi to Daiji, it's like comparing a shitty movie like okay, let's say fuck. Okay, cats. Compare the quality of the shitty movie that's cats to to a good movie that's like uh let's say freaking Let's say, uh, let's say, okay, Avengers Endgame. If you say that Cats is better, then buddy, we're gonna have a problem. Cause we're gonna have a problem. S comparing a good quality to a crappy quality is so unfair, to be honest. And that's why, that's why, that's why I pretty much felt with people comparing Daiji to Michi. Because Daichi's whole character is basically, it's basically him losing his losing his other half nonstop. The first half, the first half of the show, pretty much explained that Kagero was only born due to Daichi's desire want to want to kill his own brother because well, because well, Iki Iki took the spotlight from him through through the whole entire show, even the first half. No, no, yeah, t the whole entire show. To be honest. And the second half, when he got wholly alive, that was that arc mostly focused on the incomplete, incomplete side of of that, the incomplete side of Daiji's character, because he's not himself. Well, well, his other half, Kagura or Daiji are like the yin and yang of this show. You can't have one without the other. In this sense, this this is pretty much true for Daiji. You can't have Kagero without Daiji, but you can't have Daiji without Kagero. Because Daiji needs his other half to be a perfect being. It's like this. Like this, okay? 
You, okay, right there. You take one battery, right? You take one battery out, out, out of TV remote, okay? You're trying to say, why is, this, why is my remote not working? And you find out, and you tell the one person, because it, need, it needs another battery. Oh, that's why. Right. Yeah. You see, Daisy and Kagan are like batteries. You can't, you take, if you take one battery out, that controller is not going to work. You need both batteries in there for that controller to work. Daisy the controller, I'm trying to say, and Kagan and Daisy's relationship are the batteries. And yeah, it pretty, it pretty much is. And it works. It works for them. I know. I know. I said that for Vice too, for it works for him as well. But yeah, the best part of the show from the best part of the show for me personally is Kagel and Daiji's relationship because I was actually thrilled since since Kagel first appeared, find out more about why Daiji and Kagel had this symbiotic symbiotic relationship, and uh, it worked pretty well. Not gonna lie. Although I will talk about something when we get to do, when we get to Kagero, Kagero part of the portion of the review. So yeah. So Daiji, <coughs> I like Daiji. He 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 had the best suits in the show. Don't at me. All his suits don't miss. I love his I love his uh care I love his interest song with Kagero, Mirage Mirror, I call. I love that. It's, it's one of my favorites. I like it way more than Sakura in his theme song. Just saying. Oh, we're talking about Sakura now. Okay, let's go on to Sakura. All right, I got a hot take to say. I. <coughs> oh, oh. <coughs> All right, I gotta say this. I got a hot take to say. I know. <coughs> I know when Ray Vice was airing, a lot of people were fangirl, well, fanboy as well, fanboy, fangirl over Sakura saying, Sakura's the best female writer since Sakura has been the best female writer for Waywalk because, well, the other two have been complete shit. Yeah, they have. They have. I'll give credit, that's true. See, see the best Raywall ride, female writer for Waywalk. But I gotta say this, Ben Fandel. I think Sakura's, I think Sakura, I think Sakura is a Terrible character written pretty poorly. Let me explain. Okay, <clears throat> okay. I first time watching Sakura. First time watching. First time seeing Sakura on screen. I thought, okay, she's pretty cool. She know how to kick butt and she know karate. That's awesome. I like that. When she became a writer, dude. When she became a com. When she became a comic writer, got the belt and drive. When she when she when she first henshin. I just lost favorite the character cause like uh I'm like okay okay why is her reason why she can't come right? She wanted to get stronger, kick butt, fight people. <laughs> I'm like, did we already have that in the, did we oh, did we just had that in build? We literally just had that in build with Bonjo's character arc. Because Bonjo's character arc was basically him wanting to get stronger to protect the people he loves and care about. Well, Sento was the opposite of that. <clears throat> I'm also, yeah, now I'm bringing bring up Bill. You're being biased, bro, kill. Let me say this. I'm not going to be biased in this review. I'm going to be completely honest with these, with these comparisons. So, yeah. Like, okay. I'm like, for real. We just had... <clears throat> sorry, my voice. My voice cracked it. We literally just had a comrade season in the Heisei era. About a second day, want to get stronger, and stronger to protect people that he loves. I feel like that they just took that from Bill. <coughs> oh, I'm oh, sorry, boy. I'm <coughs> oh, sorry, my voice. It feel like that they just took that from Bill, and uh, no, yeah, no, I'm sorry, it doesn't. I'm oh, sorry, yeah, no, it doesn't work. It doesn't work though. Just saying. Like, why were you guys thinking? Why were you guys taking the best part from Banjo and putting in Sakura? It just feel like, it just feel like that they were being lazy with it, and uh, I didn't like it. And don't get me, don't get me started on, don't don't get me started. Why she wanted to, why she wanted to get stronger in the second half 
when she was abusing the shit out of Love Coup. Like, Sakura, no offense, girl, but your whole character arc, to me, personally, just felt like that, uh, just felt like that, uh, you were, you were, you were jealous that, uh, you were jealous that, that your brothers are getting stronger and getting more attention than you, you kind of say, for screen time. What I'm saying, what am I saying? She got more screen time than Daiji in the second half. I'm not even joking. She did. And also, what was the what was the point of hyping up Invincible Jane? Like, I'm sorry. Like, they hyped it up for one episode. In the same episode, in the same episode, they beat Gifu. I'm sorry. What? Like. How you going to how you gonna hype up this brand new power up this brand new form that look complete? I'm sorry, if there's no GNA, it looks like complete garbage. It looks like hot doo doo. I did not like that form. So get that trash out of here. How are you going to hype up? How are you going to hype up? <laughs> sorry, I'm laughing about this. Hey, how are you going to hype up this new form? Yeah, it appear. In one episode, they feed the final boss, and bam, that's it. I'm sorry, what? No. It just feels like that the writer want. It just feel like the. It just feel like that the writer wanted to make Sakura more of a main character than Iki. And shit, they pretty much tried that so many times in the show. It didn't even work for me. Like, she want to get stronger, and more stronger. Like, we just had that character. We just had that character arc in the first half. So why did they copy and paste it from the first half? I'm sorry, but, uh... I'm sorry, but Sakura's just annoying. Listen, you can like her, that's fine. I think I think Sakura wasn't that good of a character. Because, like, her whole... Uh, like, in my eyes, her... In my eyes, her whole arc was basically her not getting what she wants. And that was just annoying. The first half, she wanted to get more stronger. She wanted to get more stronger. Fight, fight for people she cared about. I'm like, okay, so we're copy. Okay, so we're copy Bonzo from Build. Why? Like, why? I, I, are you gonna turn her into? Are you gonna turn her into? Oh, into the freaking? F no, I'm not saying that. I'm about to say Oni, but not Oni. A freaking rice ball girl. You don't know what I'm talking about. There's a. Uh, there's there are moments in the show that show Sakura gluttony and see ha and see eating giant rice balls. I'm just saying that's uh Sakura, you good there, girl? Because I have a feeling you and Bonjo would be good friends. Again, then Bonjo, my idiot, but yeah, I love that idiot to the very day. So yeah. <laughs> so back on saying Sakura's character arc to me was just for like a copy and paste of Banjo. Not just that. When she's not getting her way, she whines about it. And I don't like that. She only listen to herself and that's it. Like perfect example. She she thought perfect example, she thought it was a good idea to separate uh Aguilera from her demon. But uh here's the thing. Aguilera, Aguilera didn't want to be separated from her demon. She doesn't. And no, I have not watched part two of the girls remix. I'm going to go watch that eventually. But yeah, but yeah, she doesn't. She doesn't want to be separated. She doesn't want to be separated from her demon when that happened. But 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 Sakura didn't listen, and because of that, and because of that. She also beat the shit out of Loku so many times in the show, because the main the main reason why soccer main reason why soccer was losing a, a couple of times to Aguilera in the show because well because well she was somewhat holding back you kind of say and also yes again she beat the shit out of Loku. <laughs> No, if I talk about Love Q, I'm gonna say this. I don't care for Love Q, because Love Q was just basically a giant freaking merchandise for the show. And I gotta say this, let's talk about merchandise for a second before I go back to Sakura and Love Q. 
a friend of mine, a friend of mine wanted me to say this, but uh, for all those that bought Ray Vice toys, let me tell you something. You sell your soul to Bandai too many times when this show came out. You bought DX Weapon, Premium Bandai Driver, not the toy, but Premium Bandai Driver, SA Figure Arts. Should I keep going? Like, if 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 one of you weaves out there, if one of you weaves out there bought the giant freaking Plushy for Loku, then buddy, we're gonna have a problem because you need help. And don't say that. Don't say that you have an addiction to Ray Vice. You do. You have an addiction to Ray Vice. You have a you have a freaking addiction to Ray Vice. And thank God I'm not one of those people that bought Ray Vice toys. Well, only four. But besides that, those are figure arts. So I beg I say I don't care for Loku. She's just basically a big. She's just basically. How can I say that? Okay. See, basically, she, she was basically merchandise, pretty much. They pretty much just made her for merchandise. Well, now, in my eyes, the second, that no, the whole show, she was pretty much merchandise, pretty much. Like, they milked the shit out of this kid, Jesus fucking Christ. Like, no joke, they milked, they literally milked the, the freaking shit out of this character. And... <laughs> Okay. The last time, the last time I saw a character getting a milk and shit out of a merchandise, and for like, and for like, Toei wise, it's it Momotaro's and the, and the, and the other Taro's from Deno. Deno, Deno gets milk and shit out of to this very day. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I gotta say that Deno, Deno is just mid. I'm sorry, Deno is just mid and boring. I'm sorry, but it is, it's just mid and boring. So anyway, <coughs> sorry. So anyway, back on, so back on as I was saying. So back on as I was saying. Is that? <sighs> yeah, look, who's just merchandise? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for repeating myself a little bit, but I just, I don't know the same old character. Like, what does it say? Like nothing. She's just there, just for merchandise wise. That's it. You you think she's adorable? No, I don't care for Loku. I don't care for Loku. I said at the beginning, I don't care for Ray Vice, so I'm gonna be honest, my review here. So back on about Sakura. Yeah, Sakura Sakura isn't a good character. Mo moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Her character arc in my opinion is, is atrociously bad. Moving on. So let's talk about uh, let's talk about uh the, the mom and dad. I actually like them. I like Genta and his wife, Yuki. They're adorable. I like them. They'll be a good husband and wife, even though even though they weren't actually married, but uh, that's for a different but we're not gonna talk about the veil the veil uh the veil spin off, so yeah. But uh yeah. But yeah, they were uh yeah, they were yeah, yeah. They were just basically being like a normal family couple and I like that. They're supporting all their kids from the ups and downs. I like that. Especially Genta. I like Genta. He's cool. But yeah, the, pa the parents are harmless. The parents are cool. I like them. So moving on. Let's, so moving on. Let's, let's talk about Busan. Now he's cool. Move, <laughs> moving on again. Let's talk about, let's, let's talk about uh, George. Before, before we talk about here and move the Thursday with the show, let's talk about George. George. What can I say about George? I like George. He's actually he's actually he's actually one of my favorite characters in the show. Although I will got I do gotta be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of his somewhat character arc for the for the second half no for the almost final and like literally it feel like it feel like they're running out of ideas for for how for how how they're gonna make this fifty episodes for the show. I think George becoming Juga is useless and pointless. Like, okay, so, no, so what's his reason? So what's his reason why he became Juga? Daddy issues. That's why because he's mad at his dad for abandoning him, abandoning him and ignoring him. That's it. Like that's it. So just because, so just because, so just because of daddy issues, he became this pointless, useless mid villain, mid villain, and thus. Uh, and I'm a finale, like like in two episodes. I'm sorry, but Juga wasn't needed. I'm sorry, but Juga wasn't needed. What was the point of that? 
What was the point of? Oh yeah, oh yeah, the point of point of facing for George to, to accept his father's death. That's stupid. That's just stupid. I'm sorry, but like, Juga wasn't necessary or needed. You could have done it so better if you didn't make. Ravens had a lot of good ideas and concept. It just, it just doesn't land well. And this is one of them. You don't need Juga. Like, <clears throat> okay. Like, if you're trying, like, if you're trying to say that, if you're trying to say that, if you're trying to say that George blamed himself for what happened to his dad. Then okay, fine. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. It's not like it's not. It's not like they only tried that after George's dad died. Like, and the, yeah, that's fair enough. But like, but like, if you're going to just ignore all that, and say, hey, let's, hey, uh, let's make him, hey, uh, let's make him, let someone, let someone clickbait say that, uh, oh yeah, give him the final film of the show. But yeah, no, it's actually George. He only became that. He only became Juger for two fucking episodes. It's fucking pointless. I'm sorry. I did not like Juger. The concept was stupid. If you're trying to fit George Kedar by turning him into into this mini mid villain, then I'm sorry. It just doesn't work. George Kedar arc should have been done then after after he faced his dad face to face when, when he saw his dad's grave. Fucking hell. You, I don't like the I, I didn't like the idea of him becoming Juga, I'm trying to say. It was it was totally unnecessary. It just felt like it just felt like a lazy way just to pop out another premium banner toy out of the ass. Oh wait, what I'm saying? That did happen. Stupid. I'm sorry, it's just it's just stupid. Ugh. Anyway, moving on to George, I like him just, just his character arc in the and almost fin his character arc in Lay Down the Show just got treated badly in my opinion. It got, it got treated like shit. I'm sorry, it got treated like crap. Moving on to Hiramu. All right, I got something to say. I actually like Hiramu. He's actually one. He actually my. He, I actually call him the, the tertiary of the show. Says Sakura. Cause, well, I don't like Sakura. And I don't see her. As, I don't see her as the tertiary of the show. Hiramu, he's awesome. I wasn't the biggest fan of how they nerfed him because due to Sakura appearing. I'm sorry. He, I felt if it felt like that they'll try and make him a comic relief character, and that didn't fucking work. Like for real though, that didn't work. It it worked it worked a few times when he was demons, but at but after they took his driver away trying to make a comic release character, yeah no. Yeah no. Yeah, uh yeah no, I'm sorry. That doesn't work yet, Chief. Yeah no. Cause he was so awesome when he first appeared saying he I'll lay my life down to save others. Henshin! That's cool. I like that. I like that about him. He he had one of the coolest suits in the show. He had an SHF which I should be which I should be taking more pictures of next week. But uh yeah. He he's so cool. I like him. I see he's more of a tertiary in my eyes than Sakura. Okay, well, shit, he felt like a tertiary to me personally. Not personally, no, for real though. He felt like a tertiary to me. He gave me the same vibe as a tertiary, just like Callus, Grease, Chase, and uh, freaking, uh, and freaking, uh, oh yeah, Snipe from x -Aid. Hell, not just them, uh, Freaking uh, Siren from Dragonite. That's right. I, no, I can't compare him to the man can dance with Yuki. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I'll take it back. But, uh, I think no. Now, he gave me the same vibe as Siren from Dragonite. And can I not know Siren from the Tertiary of Dragonite? So, yeah. And I like him about that. Because he, he was way more interesting than Iki to me. God damn it! He just stole the show. He just stole the show for me a lot, the whole time. 
Every time, on, every time it was on screen, I was like, oh, heck yeah, let's go. My boy's here. It was awesome. 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 So, uh... I, I, all right. I like here and move. I didn't like it. I had to try. I, I didn't like them nerfing him because Sakura came in. I'm sorry. That was fucking stupid. I'm sorry. I gotta say this, but like, you don't nerf. You don't nerf. You don't nerf this man just because. Just because. Just because a female a female writer appeared in the show. I'm not saying. I'm not saying don't do the opposite. No, that is that's messed up. I did not. And they should not do the Sakura as well because Reiwa did this two times in in the Reiwa era. And that was with Zero One with Valkyrie because because she got shafted through the whole entire show, had a no character arc. And then, and then we got Reika from we got Reika from Saber who just wanted to make out and have sex with her own brother. I'm not joking. She pretty much did. She pretty much she pretty much just wanted to make out and have sex with her own brother. By the way, that's probably fucking disgusting. And the writer for Saber to to go to to get some help for that. Just saying, cause buddy, you really you really should not be touching Kamen Rider or Toku anymore. So anyway, I you sh they should have not nerf here. I'm gonna try to say, like for real though, you did not they did not need to nerf here and move. Because God, God damn it! Ah, uh, excuse my language. Excuse my language. God damn it! What was the why? Why you got nerfed him? Oh yeah, because Sakura was here. Really? That's it? I'm sorry, but like, I'm sorry, but they treated my boy dirty after Sakura came, and I did not like that. I did not like that. I I. I actually love it when he came back in the second half of the show. I was like, oh, heck yeah. My boy's back. He was, he was cool. He was awesome again. He still felt like the turtle today. He was not wearing the driver. Well, again, then he wore the demon driver one last time. But besides that, he was still cool. I like him. I like Hiramu. Because he because after Hiramu left the show, Daiji was trying to be like him. And, uh... The show, the show tried to say multiple times that he's nothing like Hiramu. He should be himself. And yeah, true. Even his family is trying to tell him that. I don't like that about Daiji's character. Hiramu Daiji felt like... Hiramu Daiji's relationship felt like a master-student relationship. Daiji's the student while Hiramu's the master. And I, and I like that so much. I really do like that. It works pretty well for both of them. <laughs> so... Overall, I like Hiramu. Uh, Hiramu is one of the best parts of the show for me. His actor did an amazing job. And, it, and if I ever see this man one day in Japan, I want to say to him, Arigato Zanmasu, for playing this one good care, playing this one character in Comrade Revice. So, <clears throat> so yeah, moving on from there. Let's talk, who should we talk about now? Okay, to, okay, okay. Let's talk about uh, the Dead Mans. Because, well, because, well, Okay, I'll say the other two. I'll say the other two, but let's talk about Oteka. <laughs> now, to me, to me personally, Oteka backstory felt like a copy and paste of Abba Killers from Abba Ranger. And I say that because Oteka backstory is basically... Society treat him like an outcast, treat him like complete other garbage. And I'm like, and when I'm watching that, <clears throat> it just occurred. It just occurred to me, and it just occurred to me that uh, oh wait, sorry. And it just occurred to me that uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did we just had like, wait, hold on. did we just had like two Sentai seasons that? That that for real tried to copy and paste this. Like we had two Sentai season, two dinosaur Sentai season that copy and paste this one thing, put this one other character. Like I always say in my review, but uh, not a backstory, just a copy and paste of Abba Killers. 
and it feels like that, uh, this is me, this is me, this is me. It feels like that, uh, they were trying to copy from both of them. Nada and Makoto. Mato from, Makoto Sensei from Abba Ranger. It felt like, it felt like that someone was trying to copy their backstories, and, uh, yeah, Chief, it doesn't work. <clears throat> yeah, Chief, it doesn't work, because he felt like his character, because after he left the dead man, he felt like he was trying to be like Evo a little bit, but it just doesn't work. He was an interesting villain in the first half, but, uh, but, uh, after he, uh, but, uh, after, but, uh, after, at the at the game at the game asked by Daiji when Daiji became Holy Wing Holy Life and when uh Otaku became uh demons <clears throat> I don't know dude he just felt he just felt useless there and he still does I think that I mean the actor did a good job the actor did a splendid amazing job I like I like that about him he did a good job hey thing let me say that. I took the whole cast except for Vice's actor. The whole cast except for Vice's actor did a good job for playing these characters in the show. And uh, I, I, I had I had like, no beef in any of them. I'm just talking about the characters. That's all. Just want to make a disclaimer. I had no beef in any of them. Again, except for Vice's voice actor, because well, we both know why. But besides that, everyone else from the Ray Vice cast did a good job playing these characters. So nothing against them. That's why I make a disclaimer right here now. So yeah. So back to saying yeah, Oteka was just Oteka was cool and all. Well, kind of, but yeah, he was okay. He wasn't a good villain, in my opinion. He just got boring in the in the final moments after. Uh, Freaking uh, Thunder Gale pair. So uh, yeah. So anyway, moving on from that, let's talk about. So we talk about who you are, I didn't want to say, but I didn't want to talk about them both. Okay. So who you are, I I actually like. Okay. <clears throat> so someone. Uh, all right, I'm gonna talk about Aguilera first. Someone on Instagram a couple of days ago, like two days ago, asked me, Hey, Broku, what's your thoughts on Aguera and her suit? And her comrade suit. The suit's garbage. Move that way. The character. I like her more than Sakura. Because her, cause Aguilera's whole character, her basically trying to find a family. And she found that. And see, when she said that I love you, she meant that as a sister, not as a girlfriend. Because... New Flash guys, Sakura. I think I think the Tokyo community took. I think the Tokyo community took that. Took the freaking uh. Took the freaking self to say, saying, "Oh my God, Sakura and and I got a lesbian." No, 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 no. No. When she met, she loves Sakura. She meant that she loves her like a sister. Hell, they even they even explained this in the girl remix. Spinoff, by the way. <laughs> even in, even in, even Aguilera's song "Riot in Bloom," she talk about she talk about her trying to talk, she talk about her trying to find a new family, so she can replace her old one. So <sighs> Aguilera sees Sakura as a sister, and I like that, and I like that about her. Sakura was like the Sakura was like her big sister, pretty much. And yeah, I, I see that. And I like that about that relationship. I do. I like Aguilera, though. After actress got treated like crap. I, right, right, I gotta say this. Revice has so much controversy for the whole entire production. And what and what her agency did to Hana's actress is fucking disgusting. <laughs> it's fucking disgusting that it's fucking disgusting that she went through harassment. She she didn't get she didn't get kicked out by her agent. No, no. <sighs> oh. <coughs> Sorry. Well, 
what happened to what happened to her actress is freaking disgusting. Because one, a creeper, a creeper, a stalker harassing her. She can't go to her own her own house or her own home. So she's so she stayed with Stacy's actor for a couple of days at his home, at his house, so he could protect her. With which was nice of him, by the way. Two, she tried to call the police, and uh, and the police didn't do jack shit because well, they didn't care. She tried to call an agency, and the agency didn't care. Cause well, they treat her well, cause well, they didn't fucking care. They didn't care for money. And the last one, uh, and the last one, uh, see a couple of days ago, see when uh, a couple of days ago, an uh, article from Friday, a misleading article by a misleading article said that uh, she she got fired from an agency. But I, yeah, no, see, I think debunked that on her Instagram story saying she didn't get fired. She left on her own will, on her own terms. Now. I'm not, I'm not an agency, I'm not a Japanese agency in Japan, I'm not, I'm just, I'm just some guy talking about a kid's show, but, uh, you don't treat your clients like crap, and, and, and this is one of them, you don't treat them like crap, and that's totally disgusting, guys, she deserves better, I hope that she finds a new agency in the near future, because this is totally unacceptable, disgusting. Ugh. So back on saying. I like Aguilera. I like her more than Sakura. This, I'm not the big fan of... No, I like her a lot. I like Aguilera more than Sakura. I don't like her suit. I don't like, I don't like Aguilera's suit. I'm sorry. I know. It, I know. Supposed, supposed to be a B. I get that. It doesn't look like a B. I just don't care for the suit in general. So simple as that. So moving on from uh, so moving on from that, who else we talk? Julio, I felt like Julio got treated like complete crap in the show. They they made him feel comic relief character after he became a human again, and I like him more than Oteca. That's the thing. I like him and Aguilera more than Oteca. Julio was just my Julio was just a good boy. He he's just he's just a wholesome guy who wants to protect Aguilera. He see see. He treats Aguilera like a like a little sister, you can kind of say. Yeah, the whole relationship was like that. He treated her like a little sister. But, uh, yeah, I can't lie. He was simply a little bit, which which kind of got, which kind of gave, gave me a bad vibe a little bit. Y'all get it there. Not the, not, not, not the same level of simping as, let's say, Pat Green from Lupat or Spectre from Ghost. Or fucking, uh, not Tora or Grease, no. Who else? Connor, though. That's, you know, not Connor, though. Yeah, yeah, Connor, Connor, though, Connor, Connor was being creepy towards his own sister when she became a maid, a rake treasure in that one drag dinosaur cafe. And one of the weird soldiers. Anyway, anyway, uh, back up saying, Julio is cool. I like Julio. <laughs> I felt, I gotta say that he should have became over demon since day one. I don't know why the hell they thought Hakari was a good idea. Even though I will talk about Hakari because I know a lot of people do not like that character. But I have, I actually have a few things to say about him. So we're gonna get on to him next. Uh, I like Julio. He's cool. He was a, he was. He wasn't like basically a big bad villain. No, he was just basically there to protect Aguilera. Yeah, he did his job. He, him, and Aguilera do community service now. And now humans. That's cool. I like them. I'm sorry. I like Julio. Julio's awesome. Julio's awesome. Also, I know that his, I know that his actor. I know that his, his actor directing the music videos for the intro songs. And that's really cool of him. That's really cool. I like that. You gotta love it when a, you gotta love it when a cast member directs directs some directs a music video or an episode. That's really cool. I like that. I want to see more of that. I like Julio. He's cool. He's funny. He's hilarious. And I was happy that he became over demon. He should have became over demon since day one. So yeah. So on uh, next, so on uh, next, who's next? Oh yeah, Hakadu and his family. 
Okay, I gotta say this, Beth. I, I gotta be on it. Pete, now, people want me to go bash on Hakayu for being the most useless, worstest kid in the show. I know. He let me let me say this. Let me say this, Ben Vida Dow. I don't think he's a bad character. He just isn't he just he just isn't even he just isn't even worth it to be honest. What do I mean by that, Steph? It feels like it's it's just to me his whole character arc he tried to have one. It's just him trying to him trying to have a family. We really, yeah, his whole family was basically it's basically life manipulation. His fake mom died, which, which had like, no FDs on the viewers. His fake dad died. But again, then his dad should go back to New Ninja, just saying. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, relax, I'm kidding. And no, I will not review Nin Ninja on this podcast. If you want to see a podcast episode about that. I recommend go check out the Tok. I recommend check. I recommend that. I recommend checking out the Tokusatsu podcast. The Topo, it's called. Cause that episode they talk about Nin Ninja and that. It's actually a fun episode, so go check it out. So uh, back on. So back on saying. So back on saying. It's out of there. Who? Oh, we go. Sorry. How can you just there? He's like he's just there, like his his fake parents died. I had, I had like no empathy for them because like they were just rushed for dying. Like they just died. Like no, like oh, oh, am I supposed to am I supposed to be sad for it? Am I supposed to be sad that his parents died? Cause like I didn't feel anything when his parents died. No joke. I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't feel like no empathy or anything when his parents die. I don't know, that's probably just me, but that's but that's but that's just that's pretty much it. I had like no empathy when his parents when his fake parents die. Cause like they'll only Hakai they'll Hakai, they'll only use you to get they only use you to get to get more info on the Igashi family and how to counter cat how to counterattack their grandpa. Pretty much it. Pretty much it. Also, well, also, I always said, but I always said about Julia, but uh, I think I think him coming over with Demon was just pointless. That's all I'm gonna say. Trust me, this kid, this kid already got this kid already got bashed enough, or he got bashed enough in the community, in the Tokyo community. So I'm just I'm just, so, so I'm just gonna say this. I'm just gonna say this for Hakai's character. If they wanted to make him, if they wanted to make him, if they wanted to make an arc about about family, then here's the thing. They could have done it a different way, but yeah, at the same time, I feel like they're trying to copy off the Igarashi family and put it and give it to him, and yet it didn't work. It just didn't work. It's all right. That's all I'm gonna say about Hakai. So moving on, who else do we have? Oh yeah, the fucking villains just show. Am I forgetting to announce any other allies? Uh, no. Yeah, actually, yeah. I forgot. Fucking, uh, Hiyamu's mentor. Man, he's alright. The actor's cool, but the kid is alright. Moving on. The villains. Okay, uh, we got Akashi. Akashi? I think his name's Akashi. Not Bokken Red. No, no, no. Not not that Akashi. This other kid is named Akashi. I think his name is. Ah, uh, this him, this Gifu, and uh, yeah, that's fuck. That's basically it. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, Akashi's just just creepy. He's just creepy. Though. I'm sorry. He's just creepy, like. He wanted to make Daiji a new family. I'm like, dude, you gave me a creepy vibe. And that's just weird. Just saying, that's just, that's just weird. That's just fucking weird. He didn't feel, he didn't feel like a villain or intimidation of one. No, he was just there. Just sucking off Giffy's dick or something. Yeah, I don't know what to say. He... That's 
true though. I'm sorry. That's true though. He just felt like they just felt like that he was just sucking Gifu's dick or something. He was saying, he was saying, Gifu Sama will give me eternal life. Let me suck your dick for a second. Like, buddy, calm down. You you don't need to suck his dick. Calm down. It felt like he was being a bootlicker to the guy. <laughs> yeah, it's just weird. I'm sorry, I don't like him. So moving on. Gifu. Ah yes, Gifu. Our big baddest season. Wait yet he did he yet I'll be honest, he didn't feel like a big bad of the, a big bad of the season. You know what he felt like? He felt like a boring version of the arc. Actually no. Actually no. He felt like he was a boring version, a mixture of the arc and Master Xander from Samurai. I should you not twenty four seven the show. This man this man Gifu sat on his butt doing jack nothing. And that didn't work for me. They tried to try to say that he's all powerful and godlike. No he's not. No he's not. He isn't though, I'm sorry. They tried the exact same thing. They tried the exact same thing with the Ark and Zero One. That didn't work. Hell, they even tried it for freaking Storius. Not the Storius, but Ugh. Ah, uh, they tried the exact same thing with Storius and Saber. Even with Master Logos and Saber, that didn't work. What is the problem with Raywall villain trying to be all powerful and godlike? We had they had the most boring backstories ever. I'm sorry, but. Why was why was the art creating zero one because of guy because because of guy dumbassness? Why did why did Matthew Logo became a villain? Because because he was in love and he lost his girl a long time ago. Why did stories became the final villain of the show? Because he loves stories, but yet till one day he find out that stories aren't fun to him anymore. Why did Gifu became a villain because of a long time ago? Because a long time, <laughs> because a long time ago, his uh, can I say son? Yeah, his son Genta, his son Genta had had the Gifu genes inside him, which also made Veil. So yeah, I'm sorry, but these villains of Raywall are complete other garbage. Like the last time I enjoyed a fucking villain from Kamen Rider, besides Evo. Yeah, no, actually no, it's Evo. I'm sorry. Bodies aside, bodies aside, it's just the arc was the arc was cool enough for a cool concept, but it just didn't work for me. Storius and Master Logo were complete utter dog shit, and Gifu just feel like a boring version of a mixer of the arc and Master Xander from Samurai. Because Gifu didn't do jack nothing in the whole entire show. How are you gonna make a show about him being an all powerful villain? Yeah, he wasn't even all that powerful. I'm just saying. Like for real though, he wasn't even all that powerful though. Ah. <sighs> uh, uh, oh yeah, I forgot to talk about Veil. Vale. Veil's boring. Moving on. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. Matter of fact, if we're here, I'm done talking about Gifu. Well, he's shit. And Veil's boring. Matter of fact, since we're here, let's talk about my biggest problem with the show. The concept. The concept itself. I like the concept idea of, of Iki making a contract with the devil. That's cool. I like that idea. I do. I like that idea. It's pretty, con it's pretty interesting and cool. When I first heard from a friend that I uh, saw that conversation about a guy making a deal with the devil, okay, that's pretty cool and awesome. But, uh, but, uh, but, uh, I gotta say this. Towards the second half of the show, that concept became complete other boring, no, other dog shit, I can say. No, 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 I'll take that back. It didn't work. It didn't work because because the new contract is basically Iki got Iki got his body back from Vice. Vice would take away his memories. Uh, I gotta say that 
Why did it feel like that copy from Deno? Because you not know what I'm talking about. A comrade of Deno, fucking Zerono's uh, final form. I forgot what the form's called. Every time he turn on that form, someone loses a memory. Someone he cares about lose a memories, lose memories of him, lose a memory of him. And uh, it seemed like that. Uh, and uh, it seemed like that that they that they uh, they took that. It seemed like it seemed like that they took that from there. Hell, not just there, maybe Fies as well. Because well, I did get a little bit of a Fies vibe from it as well, but still. Besides that, that's pretty much it. It just doesn't. It just doesn't work, though. It just it just doesn't work to me. For to me, it doesn't work for me. It doesn't work for me. Ugh. yeah, I'm whining about whining about freaking kids show. It doesn't work for me, though. Maybe I had cool ideas on on concept. Maybe I had cool idea for concept, but just on paper, it doesn't fucking work. I said this on my. I said I said this on Twitter though. But uh, Ravi's remind Ravi's remind me of Ravi's remind me of a mixer of the past two Ravi show just mashing together, making it into this show because. The my biggest issue with Zero One is that at times it feel it feel like that the pacing isn't good, and at, and also, also the also the freaking human gifts plot of the show was complete other was wasn't that good in my personal opinion for a reason. It seemed it was just a hot mess that that had that had that had, every, that had, that had like so many plot holes and in areas everywhere that can't be covered. And Ray Vice feels like a mixer of both of those. There are so many plots everywhere that that aren't even finished yet. How they try to finish it, but it just, it just okay, 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 okay. Sorry. Ray feel like there's Ray Vice feel like that there are so many stuff that aren't even finished with it yet, but yet they they try to mash it in for for the fifty episode. Like, did they, they like? Did they really need to kill Gifu on the debut of Sakura's crappy new form? I'm sorry, you could have kept him alive to episode fifty or something. Instead, of making George a crap, George a mid useless villain for two episodes that that did do nothing for his character. I'm sorry, it didn't. Oh, sorry, my camera had to be. Sorry, I'm sorry, but like making okay. You, you, they could have done for fifty episode if and do the final fight with Gifu, but no, no, no. Defeat him on the debut episode of Sakura's crappy new form. <clears throat> and what happens? Oh yeah, we defeated Gifu. And next two episodes are gonna be George having daddy issues for no reason. Like Jesus fucking Christ. Like Jesus fucking Christ though. I'm sorry, but like what the hell? That was pointless. Than for George to be a, a mid villain for two episodes. <sighs> Ray Vice isn't my favorite show. I say it more of a I say it right now. I do not like the show. I don't fully hate it. It's not my cup of tea. It's not. It's not for me. I can say because I said because. I think I said this in my, uh, I think I said this in my Lupat review or Kiermaid review, but, uh, lately, Reiwa for Comedy Writer hasn't been that good to me, to me. None of them caught my interest. Saber is complete doo-doo. Saber is just complete crap. Zero One, while I had good, while I had good idea, it just didn't land pretty well, in my opinion. And Ray Vice feel like it's in the middle of both of those shows. Cool concept, just that the idea didn't work. And I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Well, what's next? Well, well, what's Gates? Because you are Takahashi working on that show, and I don't like you, Takahashi. No, for real though. If you saw my X A review, you know how I feel about you, Takahashi. 
people like to people people there are a few friends of mine that say that uh say that this show the last time comedy show been this good was sim with build X A drive guy hell Kruger whatever I'm like okay fair enough for you fair enough for you guys to me no yeah no 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 this show isn't on the same level as those <clears throat> if I just say and it probably be on the same level as ghosts. Not just ghosts. No, I'll take that back. Probably the same level of a being okay show. Like fucking like what O's? I don't really like O's because like because O's has so many plots. O's has so many plots. O's has so many stuff. O's has so many freaking problems with that show that I don't really like it. I can talk about I can talk about the show if all they want to. I won't. I feel like I feel like that Ray Vice. I feel like Ray Vice lost his touch in the second half. I know, new director and all that. It's just, what was the point of what was the point of a two part episode of Vice's voice actor sucking himself off that episode? Like, I'm sorry, no, yeah, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. No episodes were trash. No episodes were fucking trash. Oh no, we'll say it was cool seeing you commander voice actor in the podcast moment. And that went in in one of those episodes, and also we had Cal Cowers in there as well, and Loki voice actress also well played as a play of voice actress in that show as well. So yeah, but uh yeah back on well yeah back on what I was saying is uh yeah those two episodes those two episodes of Vice's voice actor being Iki's coach. Yeah, no, he. Yeah, I'm sorry, but he ruined it for me. He fucking ruined the show for me. He he ruined the show for me. And yes, I know, I know about the whole drama about him. You know what? I'm not gonna talk about that. But yeah, he he ruined the fucking show for me for appearing on two episodes. Cause like, Toby, why did you go to get a death from his, for him to suck his suck himself off? Like. The two episodes basically him sucking himself off. Like, like, yeah, 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 I'm awesome, I'm awesome, I'm awesome. Like, well, dude, calm down. Calm down, you're not Homelander. I don't know, you and Homelander, you and Homelander would be good friends. <coughs> also, I want to say that he played Knuckle in the Japanese dub of Sonic 2. Because he's, because he is basically... Japan's version. He's basically the Jap he's basically Japanese version of a black guy. Not made this up. If you want, if you want, to, not made this up. By the way, if it's, it's true, he's Japan's black. He's basically Japan's black guy for the sh black guy for that for that country. Oh, that's weird. That hurts me. So back on saying. <laughs> Ray Vice has Ray Vice has ideas that I like. Just so doesn't fucking work. Like, I'm sorry, I gotta say this. What was the point again for hyping up Sakura's brand new? What was the point of hyping up Loku for saying that? Oh, what the Loku Loku shading? But that means Sakura can get a brand new form. It's just a fucking shitty kit bash of Poppy's outfit, bash with Sakura's, bash with, with the Gene suit. It looks fucking hideous. It, it looks ugly. I hate it. Now, now, sit right here. Look, look, no, sit right here. I'll, I'll do this. I don't do this for like. I don't do this for uh, for for my podcast segments, but uh, just for this, just because, just because this episode special. I talk about suits. We Common Rider has a lot of good suits and a lot of bad suits. And I wanna say Ray Vice is no exception for that. Because there are there are some good suits in the show, but at the same time there are some bad suits. Okay, let me get it out of the way. I did not like the Megaluto form. Yes, I know it's Decade. I love Decade. One of my favorite shows. One of my favorite seasons, my bad. But the form itself, I did not like. Half of the Geno form look, look like complete doo-doo. As I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna say which form, so I'm gonna say half of the Geno form like a complete doo doo. The the Igarashi family form in the Ray Vice movie look like look, look like complete shit. I'm sorry, 
I can't get over how yet they how yet they think it's a good idea to use. I can't I can't get over it. How yet they thought it was good day to freaking reuse a spider's cape for that form. Looked like complete crap. Thunder gear look atrociously bad. Oh god. <clears throat> Don't get me started out over demons in Aguilera's form. Those those are complete crap. I like Daisy's form. Daisy's get a pass. What else? Juga, Juga is alright. I know I pay on Mata Kruga. I like the black and yellow. Besides that, the, the form is just alright. The form is just alright. What other crappy, what other crappy form came out? Oh yeah! Unpopular opinion, but Ultimate Ravice is complete shit. The only good, the only, the only like, that. Ultimate Ravite is complete shit. The only good final form for Rewa was Zero Two. That form was just simple and cool. What I hate about Ultimate Ravite is that it was reusing Kiva's helmets. And the and the suit doesn't look that good. I'm sorry. It it doesn't. I'm sorry, it doesn't. Cross Saber's better. I don't like Cross Saber. Ah, uh, I think I said enough. But, nah, no, I'm not done. <sighs> I'm sorry, but like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just, I wanted Ravi to be so good. I did. I actually did want Ravi to be so good. It just doesn't fucking work. Like, because they're still, they're kind of, no offense. There are like stuff. There are like stuff that are, that aren't even finished yet. With the that, that aren't even like fully finished yet with the plot. But I have fear that uh, I have fear that Tony's gonna try to fix those plots in the in the V cinemas. Although I can't wait to go watch the Demon, the Hiramu, and Daiji V cinema. Ooh, Hiramu got a demon, a demon in that movie V cinema. Can't wait to go watch it, cause like those two, cause those two deserve V Cinema, <laughs> and I like the fact that yeah, they got one for Sakura did. But to be honest, to be honest, Sakura, Sakura got a spinoff. So, so yeah, Sakura, Sakura got a freaking spinoff with her with, with her uh, sister Aguilera. So yeah, so my boys deserve my, my so my boys deserve this V Cinema, and the best thing about it that. My boy Karichi Sakamoto directing it. And you already know it's gonna be good when Sakamoto directs it. Because I fucking love that guy. Ah <laughs> oh, man. Ah oh, man. Ah oh, man. So what do I think of A Vice? Well I I haven't talked about the plot yet. The plot's garbage. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But uh I'm sorry. The show to sh I'm sorry, but it the show tried to explain this and this and this about, about, well, about why all this is happening to the Higashi family. It left a bad taste in my mouth. I, I can't explain why. It just, it just does. Yeah, there are times in the show, yeah, there are, there are times in the show, yeah, it was trying to copy off Saber and Zero One f for... For the villain, it didn't work. It just didn't work. I get okay. The Showtime paid on mine for fifty years of comrade, which it did, but just just the plot itself didn't work. I'm sorry, it just didn't work though for me. <sighs> the last time. I watched the last time I watched a Kamen Rider. See, uh, last time I watched like an anniversary season for Kamen Rider was Zio. And uh, yesterday I was talking to my friend about this, about Zio, and he 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 watched it for the first time, and he left. He felt empty for watching that show, and and he explained why. And he explained why to me, and I told him my reason why Zio is a uh, hit and miss. And have so many problems with me as well. Ray Vice reminds me of that. Cool idea. It's just it just didn't land on paper. Ray Vice feels like 
uh, Raven feels like they're trying to redeem the fans for what happened last year with Saber and Brazil won as well. Mostly Saber in my eyes. And stuff, there's things, there's things, there's things, there are things here that work, just other stuff doesn't work. Because the show was dragging. I'm sorry, but the show was freaking dragging after Ultimate Ultimate Ray Vice came along. Like, like you did have to waste our time for like four episodes after Gifu was defeated. You could have done just defeated Gifu in the final episode. Bam. Or you could have done this. <clears throat> Gifu's clapping their asses for all those episodes. George created George created a driver for himself to work to work work with the Igarashi family to defeat Gifu. And in the final in the final scene, Vice pretty much does a rider kick to defeat Gifu, and then at that Vice Gifu both disappears. Just saying, you could have done that. You could have done that. You could have done that. Like, I'm sorry. I just watched the episode today. I just watched the last episode today, and uh. I'm sorry. I didn't feel anything at the vice. I didn't feel. I didn't feel anything after Vice uh, had to fight with Iki. I didn't feel anything after he after he disappeared. It wasn't emotional. It wasn't even sad. It was just. Ah, uh, it's hard for me to say that. Do I think we watch is mid? No, it's not mid. It's not me. Mid Vice, I'm kidding. Okay. Mid Vice is a disappointment to me. It's, 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 it's a disappointment to me. Eh, I'll talk about that. I'll talk about it soon. But back am trying to say, they could have done for the final scene, Vice does a rider kick on gift food, then both characters disappear. They could have done that. That would have been so good. Then, look at that. Oh, bam. Iki got, Iki got his memories back. It felt like it felt like it felt like, like they were wasting time in the final battle. Like, like, are you trying? Like, are you trying to make this? Are you trying to make this climactic or sad? Like, it didn't do either for me. Sorry, like it didn't do either for me for that. It just felt like it felt like it just felt like the show was dragging. So badly, and it got fucking bored. Not bored. It was bad. It was very bad. It was just bad. <clears throat> Hold on. Sorry, but it just felt bad. <sighs> well. If I'm, if I'm forgetting any characters, please tell me in the comment section below. So I'll go on my final verdict now. What do I think of Ray Vice? Do I think it's a good sh do, do I think it's a good show or a bad show? Well, for me, for me personally, for me only, Ray Vice isn't for me. And that's fine. I said this. I said this, I said the exact same thing in my Tokyo review. I think in my Lupat review, saying I don't like Lupat, and that's fine. Ray Vice isn't for me. Do I, do I, do I think the show do I think the show disappointment? Yes. But at the same time, it's complete it's just average for me. I don't know. It's 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 a disappointment for me. I I'm gonna give this the same gray I gave the same gray I gave I gave in my Kabuto review. I'm give it I'm gonna give it a C. Because yeah, the show sound the show the show feel like it's ever a C. Just a C. It could have been good. Just just the, it just has it just it's just like half the character aren't even good for writing rice. The plot the plot is a complete hot mess. We still have we still have a lot of unfinished questions. <clears throat> Some of the suits are complete doo doo. The writing isn't the best for all the characters, and this and the show was dragging toward the very end, and that wasn't good. Uh, sorry, 
So overall, Ray Vice is a complete disappointment to me. It's, it's, it's a C. Is it mid? No, it's not good either, in my opinion. It's just it's just disappointment. Just a C. So uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. But now where I watch Gates, Gates, what the hell next season called? Where I watch that? I don't know. To be honest, Ray Vice just disappointed me. Ray Vice disappointed me. So I I, I honestly don't know if I watch the next season for Kamen Rider or not. So yeah, that's all. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow my social media in the description. Until next time, my next review will be on Bakugo Sentai Alpha Ranger. So yeah, my name is Broker Guys, and I'm out. Peace, have a good day.